let us we'll see some of the five marks question in integration. Six marks, sorry, six marks question in integration. The first problem let us take down. So here in six marks, mainly the six marks come from your properties of definite integrals. We'll see soon. We'll see some of the problems now we are going to solve from your definite integral properties using the properties of definite integrals. Let us take down the first problem. Evaluate integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x sin x dx using the properties of definite integrals. Okay. Now, let us consider the function x sin x as f of x. Your f of x is equal to x sin x. Let us find out what is f of minus x. Then we can say minus x into sin of minus x. Therefore, minus x into minus sin x because we know that sin minus theta is minus sin theta. From this I can say which is equals to x sin x. Therefore, I can say f of x. If f of x is equals to minus f of, f of minus x is equals to f of x, then we can say f of x is an even function. So from this we are concluding that the given function is an even function. If f of x is an even function, then we can say the property minus a to a, f of x dx can be written as 2 times of 0 to a, f of x dx. Is it right? Now similar property we are applying here. Therefore let us consider your integration i minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x sin x dx is equal to 2 times of integral 0 to pi by 2 x sin x into dx x sin x into dx now I am going to integrate how will you integrate this is said to be x sin x dx if this is said to be the integration by parts method let us consider your u is equal to x and your dv is equal to sin x Therefore, we will have integrating, so differentiating u du equals to dx, integrating dv, we will get v is equals to, sin x integration is equals to minus cos x. Sin x integration is minus cos x. Therefore, we will have using the formula integral u into v, that is minus x cos x, 0 to pi by 2, minus integral 0 to pi by 2, v du, that is minus minus plus, cos x dx. So applying the limit, if you put cos pi by 2, that becomes 0. When you put x equal to 0, 0, the first term will be, become vanished, 0. Next we integrate cos x. So the integration of cos x will give you sin x, 0 to pi by 2, which is equals to 2 times of sin pi by 2 minus sin 0. What is sin pi by 2 is 1, sin 0 is 0, therefore 2 into 1 minus 0, which is equal to 2, that's all. So here, you first we are using the properties of definite integral. If f of x is equal to f of minus x, then the function is an even function. If the function is an even function, then by the property of definite integral, we say that minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 2 times of 0 to a f of x dx. So using the property here, we are applying 0 minus pi by 2 pi by 2 x sin x dx can be test. Since x sin x is an even function, I can say 2 times of 0 to pi by 2 x sin x dx. Using the uh, integration by parts, we will have u is equal to x and dv equal to sin x. The formula says uv minus integral v du, your u is x and your v is equal to minus cos x. If you put the limit pi by 2 and 0, both will be vanished 0, then plus integral cos x integration is minus sin x, 0 to pi, sorry, plus sin x, 0 to pi by 2. Applying the limits pi by 2 and 0, we will get 1 minus 0, therefore the answer is 2. Hence, last, finally, you can write this as minus pi by 2, pi by 2, x sin x dx is equals to 2. Okay? So, it's a very simple and easy. Even, uh, even, as, even within a minute, you can solve this problem if you are having a thorough knowledge in properties of different integrals. Next, one more problem based on the definite integrals. Okay, let us take down the next problem using the same properties of definite integrals. Why am